Oh, this is going to be a good video. We have our second Boxu box and look at it in all its orange glory. Obviously, this one isn't in the um, wooden box. It's just their standard box. I'm so excited. Once again, I'm filming after work because when else do I have time to film? <laughs> and you can see my messy, messy wardrobe. I've actually got clothes sticking out there. There we go. But look, shall we, shall we do it? Ooh. Ah! It's the new year box. Oh, so first of all, we've got our little thank you note. Um, just say thank you for being a Boxy member and happy new year. Um, and this box is all about the Kanto region, I believe, and their new year, it looks like. That's exciting. As always, we've got our, our book, which will tell us what all the snacks are. And then we have all the snacks. Can you, can you see the snacks? So I think we should probably just get into it. And if we go through the book and try and find the snacks in the box, that's probably the easiest way of doing it, I think. Yeah, we'll see. So, yeah. <gasps> right then, the book. We have the book in a beautiful, beautiful red. There's someone with a giraffe on and I'm just thinking it's totally adorable. I don't know how to tackle these unboxings. So give me advice. You know, I've never done like snack ones before. It's it's a foreign thing to be. Well, it is a foreign thing. It's Japanese snacks. But, you know, so this first of all goes into about like the New Year in Kanto. I'm confused already. But this is where all of our snacks are from. A lot of them are coming from Tokyo and Kanagawa. Some coming from Chiba, Niigata, Saitama, and Kagoshima. I have butchered all of those names and I do apologise. But let's go on to our first snack. And it's a Shannon Gold Chocolate Crepe Roll. That sounds nice. So I seem to have two varieties here. One green, one red. Um, but this says, chocolate and citrus make great partners, especially when that citrus is from Kang. Kanagawa Prefecture, a thin wafer-like cookie is rolled up and filled with sweet fragrant shonen gold flavoured cream for a delicious snack. So this is a sweet snack. Sounds sounds interesting. So yum. Uh, next we have got Pure Gummy Premium Something Strawberry. Do you want mm, Tochiotomi Strawberry, which are these here? And they kind of look like sugary Haribo sort of gummies, maybe a little bit harder. I don't know. Um, but it says, <laughs> this premium gummy is bursting with fla the flavour of Tochiotome strawberries, a special fruit from Tochigi Prefecture. Plus it's coated in mouth-wateringly sour crystals. Oh, it's a sour sweet. We'll probably have to try one of those. <laughs> Oh, and that one is a sweet and sour flavour. So we'll add that to my sweet part. I'm going to pile them up because then we can do a selection of savoury and sweet at the end. Yeah? Cool. Right. Next up, we have got Yokohama Bashamichi Milfu Raspberry. It says this French style Milfu. I can't say it. Milfu? Milfu? No. Pastry comes from Bashamichi a Yokohama street known for its heavy Western influence as one of the first international Japanese ports. Meal free means a thousand sheets. And as you can see, many layers of flaky pastry filled with creamy raspberry. So this is another sweet one. I think I like this. I like this sort of thing a lot. So yum. And then we've got, oh, we got the giraffe, <laughs> which is this one. Isn't that cute? Look. <laughs> you probably couldn't see that at all like. but this is lucky mayo curry okai okai akaki rice crackers um which is a rice cracker that combines two of our favorite flavor japanese curry and japanese mayonnaise oh 
<laughs> After you admired the adorable giraffe on the bag, yeah, <laughs> you'll smell the heady aroma of curry spices for a wonderfully savoury senbei. This is a savoury one. Mm, that sounds interesting. They feel a little bit like crisps, but who knows? They look a bit like Watsits as well, but not Watsits. Maybe a bit more like knickknacks. I shouldn't compare them really, but you know. Next we have got Country Mom Chocomamu, which, oh my God, these are so funny. They are like, they've got little mouths and like, that's funny. That's right. And I've got two of them. So these are Chocomamu means lots of chocolate. And this cookie really lives up to its name. Each bite is stuffed with chocolate chips and covered in chocolate as well. Try dunking this cookie in some milk or tea for a pleasant afternoon. So this is another sweet one. I'm so happy. I've already eaten all the sweet things out of the other box. I'm just left with savoury. I'm like, I wanted sweet stuff. I need sweet stuff. <laughs> Next up, we have got Fujiya Nectar Peach Mochi. Oh, I love mochi. I can already see it. <laughs> so we've got two of these here. So this says the delicate and sweet taste of Fujia's nectar peach juice flavours is filled mochi. Oh, it's a filled mochi, so it's got like juice. <gasps> yes. <laughs> A sweet rice cake encases fragrant peach jelly and marshmallow. Be sure to eat this mochi as soon as possible, possible to best enjoy its soft texture. Oh, I will be eating these ASAP then. Yum. And then we have got fermented butter karuru, karuru custard financier shonen gold, which I think is this here which is just like an orange packet. Do I have another one in here? But it is get ready for a small cake that packs a flavorful punch. Deli delicious custard cream and fermented butter pair beautifully with shonen gold, a fragrant citrus found only in Kanagawa Prefecture. Interesting, my mouth is watering, just like reading these things. <gasps> I've got a nice pile of sweet going on, but I think it's just about to get a bit more savory. <laughs> But we have got, ooh, black sesame crispy candy. This here, can I get yeah, there? This here is what I've got. And in the picture, I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't look like that. So we're gonna go with it for now and see. But I don't think I've got the right thing. There's nothing else in here that's black in a clear packet. So, oh no, there is. I lie. Here we go. <laughs> they can give up. This is what I was after. Right. It's a very big packet for not many candy. This here says this tasty candy called Arihato and has been around for almost 500 years apparently i can't read anymore i apologize um it's a hard shell gives away to a flaky interior flavored with intensely nutty black sesame for a treat you won't want to stop eating and again it's it's sweet so someone needs to have a word with them about their packaging that is an excessive amount of packaging because they're individually wrapped as well Anyway, moving on swiftly, we have got this guy here, which, you see, yeah, <laughs> I'm not used to using this phone yet, and I keep putting things in front of my face, and then I can't actually see what I'm doing, so, you know. Yokohama Butter Sandwich Cookie. These butter cookies are a popular gift for tourists visiting Yokohama because each cookie has little vignettes of the city printed on them. These cookies are filled with a luscious buttercream that balances the more savoury cookies. Master Takara Seika, or Seika has been baking in Yokohama since 1946. Wow. So we hope you can taste the history in every bite. And this is another sweet one. My sweet pile is getting bigger and bigger. 
It's got to end soon, surely. Right, next we have got Funwari Minjin Mochi Puffs, which I think are these things. Here, we had Mochi Puffs in the last um, box as well, which I haven't tried yet, you know? Um, but this Mochi Puff signature lighter than air melt in your mouth texture is flavoured with cheese from Hokkaido, the premier region for dairy in all of Japan. When it evaporates on your tongue, you'll be left with only its deeply cheesy flavour. Yum. So are they going to be like Watsits? Do you know? <laughs> right, next we have got Akasaka Shisen Hanten Mochia Potato Chips. Maple Chili Oil. Oh, I'm not trying these. These will be eaten by Dominic. Anything that says chili oil, I'm like, no, not happening. So this says, maker Sanshin collaborated with the Chinese restaurant Akasaka Shisen Hantin to create these spicy mapo, maple chili flavoured chips. You can taste the tingly Chinese peppercorns in every crispy bite. Not for me, um, but Dom should love them. I hope. <laughs> then we have got right now. So these are black sesame, but they are black sesame okoshi. Okoshi is a crunchy and sweet snack that has been around for over 10 centuries. Three flavours, black sesame, kanako and brown sugar unite to form a crispy treat that you won't want to put down. So these are sweet and they are black sesame. They just weren't the black sesame from before. <laughs> then we have got black Thunder, Shifuku no Butter, which I think is this guy here, um, which looks really kind of cool. <laughs> um, so this Black Thunder is a beloved Japanese chocolate bar that combines chocolate, chocolate cookies and puffed rice. That sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know what snack I could probably compare it to. Maybe a star bar? Maybe? Is that a star bar? Maybe. <laughs> this premium version contains fermented butters from Hokkaido and France that take on this chocolate bar. Take this chocolate bar from excellent to sublime. So we've got the fancy version, but this is sweet as well. I like this box. I like this box a lot. <laughs> then we are on to our final two items. We have got... Daruma Senbai Rice Crackers, which come in this really cool packaging. It's like really papery and oh, it's interesting. Um, these cute senbai are shaped like little Daruma, traditional Japanese dolls, symbolising good luck. With eight different flavours like matcha, nori and black sesame, you're sure to love them all. Ace, but what flavour have I got? I don't know what flavour, unless there's got it's all got different flavours inside of there. I'm confused. Cool. <laughs> and we are on to our final item, which I think is a tea. We have got here um organic genmaicha tea. So it is a combination of sencha leaves and roasted brown rice. This tea is filling and just a little bit different from most teas. Let its herbaceous and nutty aroma waft over you as the hot tea keeps you warm on winter nights. And look, look, the box is empty. We made it to the end of the box. What else is in this book? Just so. Oh, and it's got some bits on traditions in, of New Year, which is cool. I'll read that in my own time. You don't need to be bored with that. <gasps> what should we try? I've got a feeling I have to try one of these guys because they're, they're cool. And I feel like I have to try one of the Nectar Mochis. What savoury do I go for? Shall we go with this? The crispier mochi. Shall we? Right, we'll do sweet and then we'll do savoury. So shall we do the peach first? It's so soft, like. That is really good, like really, really good. I really like that. Mm. 
Now for our chocolatey biscuit of chocolatey goodness. And maybe a bit more chocolate. So that's it there. It's chocolatey. And in a good way. Mmm. That's good. Time some crispy mochi. <laughs> She does disappear as soon as you put it in your mouth but they taste good mm. that's taking me back to like childhood when cheesy crisps actually tasted like cheesy oh my god that's amazing well thank you for watching <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video let me know down below which one would have been your favourite snack. Um, what's mine? At the moment, these. And I'm going to continue eating them. So I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Because, oh my god, I love you guys who are subscribing at the moment. You are making my dreams come true. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.